In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a chart that is more rep, rep responsive on different screens. So let's say here, we're going to change the screen size here. And if you move our screen size, you will see gradually, 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 once we hit below the 700, it start to change the shape. There you are. And if we go close to 400, it will start to shape, change the shape again to a rectangular or a square. And then once we are below 300, it will go again into a different shape, but Oh, sorry, there you are, yeah, the moment there, in a mini square here. So let's start to explore how we can do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to make a chart mobile responsive in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to keep the chart size consistent while changing the screen size in Chart.js. So if we scroll down here, you can see here the question came from Shubami Ingo. A special thank you to Shubami for asking this question. And this is what Shubami asked. Thank you for your videos. On screen size, main height is working fine, but when the chart, but the chart is looking stretched on mobile screen. So I want, uh, what I want, or oh, sorry, I want when the screen is small, it should be to a ratio of two to one. And on a large screen, it will accept the, the minimum height. I've tried it with the function on resize but didn't succeed. Can you please help and make a video on this? Thank you in advance. All right, so this question here is not directly a JavaScript question but it's more a CSS question. So let me start to explore how to do this. So first of all what we need is we have to get a default code. Just go to chartjs3.com doc, uh, docs getting started they see this link here. If you see this here, I get this error here for some reason, but I know if you're on Firefox, it will not. And on my other computer or my other MacBook, it works fine. Why? I do not know, but that's all right for now. All we need here is basically this chunk of code here. So I'm going to copy this code here. If you want to understand what this code does, please check this specific video here that explains the JavaScript of that. We're going to paste this in here. Once we paste the code, I'm going to move the title and put the title in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. And once I save that, I'm going to uh, refresh the page here. And there we have it. So now what I want to do here eventually is start to work with it. So this is very important. So in this video here, we had two items here and we had going to screen size. So what we're going to do here is to make it more and more responsive. We need to work with CSS, but Chart.js have a default setting that is blocking the or restricting your structuring. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is to destroy this this thing that will counteract on our chart, which is the maintain aspect ratio. So it keeps the ratio consistent, but in this case, as we uh, shrink our chart, it doesn't work well. So we don't want this now. So we're going to save this, make sure you have a comma here, save this and refresh. What happens, it gets like this, very weird shape. So this shape is no problem at all because now we can start to modify because what happened now is we get officially the shape based on this here on our CSS which is as a width of 700. So if I remove this, let's see what happens. Oh, sorry. We have to comment it out with a different structure here. So to comment out, we need to use slash asterisk and then asterisk slash. So if we refresh it, now it gets this certain shape here. Whatever the shape is, it's a default shape here. However, we want to maintain this here. So this is fine. And probably the width here, let's say the width, or sorry, not the width, the height. We maintain the height here as well. Let's say the height here is, I guess this is an aspect ratio of two to one. We want to maintain that, refresh here. This looks fine. However, you will note that when we are here on mobile responsive, we get a massive issue because it's too big because it's a fixed width. All right, so how do we solve this? Well, remember, now we are in CSS, we can now work on responsive CSS where we can do here, basically a screen size measurement. So we say here, add media, then only screen. So what we really wanna do is here, when the screen size has a certain item, so add me media only screen, so we don't do any print, anything, but just only on the screen, and then we say here, the moment the screen size has a maximum width of let's say 600 pixels at that moment all we want to do is the following we're going to put in here an item and what we're going to do here is just very straightforward we're going to grab here the chart box and we overwrite 
this specific item because it has this condition here. Basically, it's like an if statement. So if the screen size is 600 pixels, so how do we know if the screen size is 600 pixels? If we open up here the developer tab, you can move this and you can see here the width here. This is the width here. So the width is 600 pixels, so it would be somewhere here, 600. All right. So then we say if width is 600 pixels, then you say here, then the chart or the class chart box should have a different width here. Maybe let's put on this. And if I'm not mistaken, it would be also a ratio of two to one. So let's say we're going to make this um, not 600, but I'm going to put in here. Well, let's say 90%. Width is 90%. So if it's a ratio of two to one, this should be 45%. If I save this now, refresh, you can see here now, it just maintains nicely here. But the moment we go bigger, it will just start to work with the official size here, which is 700 by default. It's always 700, as you can see here, until we hit the 600. So once we are here on 600, am I correct? On 600, uh, let's see what's going on. All right, so it doesn't work here yet. All right. Sorry, is it 600? Yes, if the minimum width is 600, at that moment, it starts to change that here. So let's see here one more time. 600, there we are. And then as you can see, it starts to expand, expand gradually. So you can see here, this 600 should be fixed. I realize that this should be, uh, well, let's say here at 700. That should be more, more accurate. And then you can see here, now we expand it and now it's nice. Of course, you can imagine, let's say we're now on a mobile phone and look what's going on here. This is absolutely hideous. Uh, let's put it here on 300. So you see this here and I don't like this and probably you also might not like it. So what we can do here again is to make here another media screen. And this is basically what Bootstrap does. Copy this. And then we say here 300. Or let's say this is, if it's 400, the width by default is always 300 pixels, no matter what, and the height is also, it's sort of like a square shape. Save this, refresh, now you have this, and you can see here, uh, certain things are counteracting, and you might say, why is it counteracting? Well, because it is also calculating this specific item here with the padding, am I correct? Uh, the chart box here, padding, we can maybe say here padding, let's put in here the padding as well. So it will calculate this padding included. So if I refresh here now, it should be now working correctly. As you can see here, there you are. But once we go below 300, of course we get this issue here. Or even below that because the padding left and right 20. So this should be maybe, well, let's do another one just for the sake of it. All right, so I'm just going to give you all kind of options here. This one, if it's 300, if it's below 300, we don't want width, we want width, we want to have the width 90%. Alright, so then, and this one should be also 90%, no matter what. And we have a padding here, save this, refresh, there we are. So let's go scroll down, make it smaller. Alright, and then, oh, 90% of this doesn't make any sense, I guess. Uh, we should do maybe this 200. Let's make this 200. 200 pixels, because 90% of the entire height would not make any sense. So now we have the small shape. Then the moment we are 300, it gets like a square. And when we are 400, it becomes again a ratio of 2 to 1. And then if we go to 600, it will get the, or 700, it will get the certain shape that we want or the default shape. And this is basically what we are doing here. So what we're really dealing here is not really with JavaScript, but CSS. So if you like this video, and maybe you have more questions, you want to go deeper, I have an entire video series about CSS. This is an old series here. It's been a while when I made this. So it might be interesting as well to just go in this. It's very basic, but these basics can help you a lot as well. Because basically here, we are working with basic web responsive CSS.